Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here with a video for My Favorite Things. In today's video, I'm going to be creating a card using products from the new September 2016 release, and we're going to be creating some dimension on our cards by layering die cut pieces. So first off, I have a couple of dies from this release. I have the Big Hello Dynamics die, which is a great word die. It's real big and it really becomes the focus of your card. It's really awesome to use as a main sentiment. And I'm also going to be using the largest single stitch line rectangle frames dynamics, which is also part of the September release. And I went ahead and cut a whole bunch of these frames out. I think I did five in total. And I also die cut five of the Big Hello Dynamics, and I'm going to be using all of these dies to layer on top of one another to create a fun dimensional sentiment and frame on my finished card design. So I have all of these letters here. I'm just going to pop all the centers out of the O's, and now I have everything ready to go to just continuously glue everything together and create my fun card design. Now for a little added element to this card design, I did stamp, color, and die cut one of the hedgehogs from the new Happy Hedgehog stamp set. This stamp set is so adorable. I absolutely love these hedgehog images. And I just thought this little guy with his arms kind of out waving looked really cute with the hello sentiment that we're going to be putting on the card. So I stamped and got him ready to go and we're going to use him on the finished design. Now to create the background area for my hello die to go on, I wanted to add a little bit of color just because I didn't want it completely plain and I want to leave the frames and the hello word completely white on this card design. So I'm going to add some color to the background area to kind of break up all the white and make the sentiment really stand out on my card design. So I'm taking a green and a blue Distress Ink color. I think I have mowed lawn and peacock feathers and I'm just using an ink blending tool and adding the color to my cardstock panel. And I just like to continuously add the color and blend them nicely together so they kind of fade into one another. And then a little trick that I like to do is I like to take my panel and put it on a paper towel. And then I like to add spritzes of water over top and then just dab it up with the paper towel. I just fold it over itself. And it just kind of lifts some of that color off of the panel and just gives it a really fun distressed look. This is one of my favorite ways to just kind of add texture to an inked background. Especially when the card's going to be somewhat simple and I'm not going to have a lot of detail going on. So now that I have the background panel done, I'm going to start to put all of my frame pieces on. So I intentionally had this piece a little bit bigger than the frame dynamics because I wanted the color that we have on the background piece to show on the outside of the frame as well as the inside. I just think it's a really fun look to have that color that we created on both the outside and the inside area and I just think it really makes the card look finished when it's done. So now that I have the first frame on, it's really easy to layer everything together because we're just going to go one on top of another. So I'm just going to use liquid glue and I'm going to speed this up. As you can see, I definitely don't work that quickly. Um, and I'm just going to keep adding the liquid glue onto the frame. And then I'm going to take a frame die and add it right on top and adhere it down. So it's super simple, super easy, and it's just a really fun way to kind of add dimension to your card design and make it look like you're almost using chipboard pieces because they're all layered perfectly on top of one another. And it's just a really fun, unexpected look. And I just think it just adds so much more dimension and interest to your card. So now that we have the frame all adhered on, we can go ahead and do the sentiment part. And this to me is the focal of the card. The word is so big and bold and I love that. And because we're going to make it dimensional, it'll stand out even more. So it's just a really fun look to a card design. So to start off, I'm going to spell the whole word hello onto the bottom area of the card. And I'm just kind of grabbing all of the letters here and laying them on top. And I'm just kind of positioning them so I know they're kind of, I want them to be as center as possible on this panel. So I just kind of laid them out, kind of figured out where I wanted them, and now I'm just going to use my tweezers to add ink to the back of each of the letters and then position them onto the card base. Now I like to use tweezers just because I find it gives me more control over what I'm doing and it allows me to see better uh, kind of where I'm adhering them rather than having my fingers in the way. So I love to use tweezers for this type of card design just because I find it so much easier to get everything lined up and adhered exactly where I want it. Now once we have the first hello on, then it is super fast from here because we don't have to worry about lining anything up. We already have the letters on where we want them and it's simply just taking all of the die cut letters that we have here and just going over the word and adding all of these on. So I just put the liquid glue onto each letter and then I'm just taking all of the letters and adding them directly on top just like we did with the frame until I have all of the layers completely adhered on. 
Now for my card, I decided to do the layers completely the same. So my frames and my word are both the same amount of cardstock pieces together. But you definitely don't have to if you want to kind of change it up. You could definitely have a frame that's higher up than the sentiment or you could have the sentiment higher up than the frame. Whatever you prefer, you can do, the sky's pretty much the limit with this technique. It's just a really fun way to add dimension. And if you want to go more dimensional, by all means, go crazy and add as many layers as you want. I decided not to add any dimension to the hedgehog. I wanted him to be flat onto the background piece of the card just because I really want the sentiment to be the focal point. And I feel like if I leave the sentiment dimensional and kind of have him more in the background, it still really makes that hello stand out the most on the card. So I just used my tape runner and added adhesive to the back of him and put him on top of the, the letter E so it kind of looks like he's standing on the word hello. And now I'm going to finish off the sentiment by using the Label Maker Sentiment Stamp Set and I'm going to stamp out the word friend. So I'm just using some black licorice dye ink and I'm stamping this sentiment onto a scrap piece of white cardstock. I just need a piece big enough that will fit the sentiment. And then I'm going to use my scissors and trim this out. Now there is coordinating dies that will cut a white border around these labels. I decided for this one to cut it out with my scissors so that I didn't have any kind of border around the edges. And then I'm going to adhere this directly on to the very end of the word. So I have it adhered to the L and the O. So it says hello friend instead of just the hello sentiment. And then to finish it off, because it is kind of plain and because it is me and I always seem to do this, I added some clear sequins to my card design and I put some silver stickles on the center area of those sequins. And then I used a black gel pen just to add a little bit of detail to the little hedgehog's eyes and then that's going to complete today's card. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.